so there are some simple calculations now we will be doing which will be telling us uh, certain scaling relations which uh, plays a very important role in because the size is so big and since the, there are so much uh, you know uh, correlations between this uh, polymer chain it, it, it makes sense to talk in terms of certain very very simple to find out how different properties of the polymer scales with the size n like we already found that the r size r g scales as n to the power half. But now that is when poly polymers the monomers do not interact at all. However, in a in a real world the polymers in monomers interact with each other particularly when they kind of a collapse state like in protein or in many other polymers in a polymer in a pore solvent they, they collapse and that uh, means it, is all, it brings a little bit of the structure of liquids. It brings to us the I have to talk of local correlations, I have to talk of the local density and local volume and but however at the same time I do not want to give up the beauty or that this scaling relation uh, that polymer is famous for and that polymer really that really works. So, the large size of the polymer at the same time uh, can be again exploited to get these uh, um, uh, certain ideas about the size. So, so, in the Gaussian chain polymer, the, the freely jointed chain polymer that Flory polymer. So, these are all the same name that uh, Flory polymer, then Gaussian chain, then freely jointed chain, these are all Gaussian polymer. They are all the same things that we talk about that so it is essentially means that polymer monomers do not interact with each other. So, one of the major thing of that that uh, that so this kind of thing uh, so this is allowed so this is allowed this is allowed. So, as a result in a freely jointed chain all these crossings are allowed that uh, and that means no volume is excluded. So, no volume is excluded. But real world of course, you cannot do that. In real world you cannot do that. You, this is not allowed. This is not allowed. Okay. This is not allowed. It might seems that it is a small thing, but no, these excluded volume interactions that the sum volume is excluded plays a very important role. But how do I talk about it? At the same time, I do not want to talk of the completely the probabilistic description because this is a many body system which are lots of randomness that brings us very close to the concept of liquids. That so the so the concept that we developed in theory of liquids, like distribution function we already used, which is like the distribution function of liquids, but also the concept of density and uh, arrangement, here is never arrangement. These kind of things can be used in polymer and that is what we are going to do next. So, and that is done by saying okay and that we know this let us see Gaussian chain, but number of monomer monomer contacts, we are now going to talk of monomer monomer interaction. Uh, number of monomer monomer contacts between two things are uh, can be shown. Uh, I had a DA of that, uh, a proof of that, I do not know why that disappeared. Okay. So, uh, number of contact phi star is the number of contact. So, number of contacts uh, is phi star, number of contacts is phi star and uh, it can be shown that number of, okay. 
So, phi star each is the phi star where each monomer, the number of contacts made by each monomer. So, uh, then n phi star, so number of contacts made by This was in my notes, but I do not know what happened by okay, each polymer, each monomer is phi star. So, total number of contacts the n monomer is n phi star. This is very, very important, and I will just show you how important it is. Okay, okay, um, okay. Yeah, this is not should be here. So, probability of a given monomer probability is phi star that a given monomer encounter another monomer. So, this is not the number, but probability, but we are going to the number to from that. So, if uh, how, how would uh, that come? It will come because it will be just like in liquid state that there is a volume of a monomer just like in liquid state I have a volume of a monomer just in liquid is a volume of a monomer and then the volume of the monomer which I can take like that with excluded volume then then the number of molecules there the contact within the same in liquid state in a, in a shell will be the density. So, then density of uh, my polymer average density of the polymer which is same as the density of the liquid analogous quantity is total number of monomers divided by the volume of the monomer. So, volume of the monomer r to the power d. So, in uh, this is the dimension this is something which is in polymer is more common now not in flow is time flow you would have put d equal to 3 everywhere, but in a um, physics literature d when is very popular and favorite is d equal to 4 because at d equal to 4 we get a Gaussian polymer. So, one can do the calculations about dimension 4 by making introduce a constant, constant called epsilon and which is the comes from critical phenomenon dimension group and then epsilon is d minus 4 and so uh, um, or 4 minus d and d is 3. So, epsilon becomes 1 and you could do a calculation where there is a lot of fun one does, but we do not need to worry about it. So, if the monomer volume B is for B, the B that is introduced because in physics kind of language this, this is nothing but a bead. Many times the chemists do not like to consider monomer as a bead because we deal with monomers all the time and, but physics is nothing but a bead and the neglects model. So, the bead B, so B cube, B is R, uh, the size of the bead R, R cube but the r is kept for the end to end distance. Mm, so, this is the volume of a monomer then volume of the monomer into the density and density is total number of monomers divided by the volume which is r to the power d r cube. Once we have phi star, we, so we have the phi star and then we can show since r equal to n to the power half I can combine it before and uh, it becomes n to the power 1 by d by 2 and n phi star the total number of uh, contacts in my entire polymer chain is n to the power 2 by. Now, this is very interesting for 3 dimension then I have n to the power 2 minus 3 by 2 is root over n. So, number of contacts is enormous. So, again in my if I take 100 million which is a very good number and uh, for polymers then 100 million means 10 to the power 8. So, I have 10 to the power 4 contacts, that means 10,000 contacts and contacts cannot be allowed. So, you immediately see that if I exclude the contacts, then size of the polymer will increase. So, the simple analysis tells me the Gaussian polymer chain is inadequate. The random walk model, so what is the uh, polymer chain are doing is nothing but doing the random walk, that is why this is the result that we get into size is same as that of a random walk that how much a random walker will go in n step is exactly uh, this distance is uh, root over n which is the size of the polymer. However, if you now make the random walker no 
you cannot visit the sites you have already visited once, you are excluded from that. Then the brand up worker has to take new and new sites. As a result, the rent to end distance, the distance the brand up worker will go now will become larger. And that has a tremendous implication in these things and that will do now. So, I go back again. So, I have considered vol, uh, a five star probability of a monomer is uh, encountering another monomer and that is uh, monomer size is v to the power d and density is n by r d then n five star is total number. So, then they become n square and then n square and these uh, are comes on the up. So, n five n square and r d is root over n. Uh, so, I get uh, d by 2. Okay. So, now uh, then the next let us go ahead that the things that we have done. So, is if there is one more thing that comes in addition to this uh, uh, excluded volume interaction, there is another term that is very popular. So, the uh, I want to add here. So, excluded volume. because contacts not allowed. You might think it is a small thing, but it is not because there are large number of contacts. Okay. Then another thing is a different thing is the effective interaction that is used and that is this thing. That means in polymer you put polymer in liquid, then this is a very good example of saying that there is a chain polymer chain in a kind of uh, in a, or a reduced kind of a description, but it captures these things. And they say these are water molecules or ethanol molecules because so polymers are not soluble in water. So, maybe they are ethanol molecules or methanol. Ethanol is a very good solvent for uh, polymers. Now, I want to, but I am not interested in the water molecules or ethanol molecules. I am interested in the polymer configuration. However, this polymer is solvated by these water molecules, but I want to have a description where these not there because it is too difficult to bring all this because the polymer is so big as I told you uh, 100 million monomers, a huge guy. If I have to put it in a solvent, you know what I do, want to do theory of simulation, I will have billions and billions of water molecules, I need trillion water molecules I need, that is not possible and also does not make sense because they seem to polymers seem to behave in certain way. So, the one the concept that came in that one said that what happened if I could average an implicit solvent. Implicit solvent means I will remove the water molecules behave as if it is a continuum and then I will have interaction with these two guys who otherwise are not interacting, but they will be interacting because of the interaction just like we discussed in liquid state interact interaction they are proceeding through intervening in molecules just as in liquid state and actually the all the concepts of liquid state comes to polymer very handy. Then I remove the water molecules instead I have an effective interaction between these two which is somewhat longer distance and you know there is of course this hard sphere interaction it also interact with short length. But in long distance there could be an att attractive interaction. So, this effective interaction is the thing to find from R, but we can again look into a liquid state theory. If we can get a radial distribution function between them G R between this mono 1 mono 1 polymer, then I know I have can write beta is 1 over K V T W R. Then W R is the potential of mean force and is the effective interaction. Okay. So, so that is the same kind of game we play that we are removing the water molecules and we are replacing that all the complexity are taken into account by potential of mean force or an effective interaction between them or the indirect interaction in the theory of liquid state. We remember what we did in the uh, derivation of Parker's Civic equation or direct interaction a direct correlation function and the indirect one which are again goes through this potential of mean force. So, we are essentially inter introducing a potential of mean force. Then 
So, effective interaction is a very important role played, it is introduced by Flory. So, if the polymer is such that, if the polymer is such that, uh, uh, the solvent is such that it does not like the uh, polymer, then the water molecules from where will go away and the polymer will collapse. However, if they like polymer, then they will be inhabited inside and then the polymer will swell. So, in a good solvent, good, good for the polymer, the ethanol is good for many things, then they will, uh, polymer will swell, then they do not want to cross each other. So, they will almost mimic what is the excluded volume interaction, much stronger excluded volume interaction and size of polymer goes up and that is a very important thing. So, good solvent is a, is, is where polymer is large, size is large. However, if you put for example, a lot of water which does not like the hydrophobic interaction, does not like the polymer, then polymer will collapse and this is shown here that good solvent, this is a good solvent, then water all everywhere water molecules comes in and then you get a swelling of polymer very important phenomena. However, if the solvent is out, if they do not like each other pore solvent, then it collapse. Protein folding which is a very, very uh, is essential hydrophobic collapse. So, these collapse, collapse of polymer is like is, is, is a hydrophobic collapse that is so important in protein folding. Except in protein folding, we do not have a homopolymer, what we are discussing here all the monomers are the same that is called homopolymer, but protein is a heteropolymer and protein collapse of protein in a pore solvent is, is so because protein folding we do in water much of the studies or at least largely water and there are other parts also, but that is what makes. So, when protein folds all the inside all the things are the hydrophobic core like alanine, valine, phenylalanine and outside here all the hydrophobic things that is essentially architecture of protein which is the polymer of intermediate size polymer. But many of the things that we learned in uh, polymer goes or use in understanding protein folding and many other things. So, polymer is a very important for because of the biopolymers also, but I want to emphasize that this uh, uh, the concept of liquid state the densities B uh, by uh, n by r r to the power d and then monomer monomer contact and all these things actually are very useful in the polymer. So, then the, the uh, is the important thing that the, the, the good solvent and the uh, poor solvent that effective interaction is repulsive good solvent this interaction is attractive. So, we now have to think of how to describe at interaction between the polymers and that was also Flory did. So, if I have the interaction between polymers, I can do stressional mechanics. Now, I can bring in the whole apparatus of liquid state and that has been done. So, then how do I talk of the interaction between the polymers, okay. This is the following way, the Flory used it again to develop the interactions and the, the evolution of the coil dimension of polymer between an M. Now, this is a, a bit, uh, this is not effective repulsion energy, actually if effective interaction energy that we will see that it can be both positive and negative, it can be both attractive and negative. So, uh, in, uh, interaction or effective interaction energy that is very important, effective interaction energy that we see. As we just discussed before that the density or concentration I can as well call it density rho, but concentration C is total number of monomers divided by the volume R to the power d, d is a dimension. Now, I can now make the following answers, this is just a completely van der Waals that attraction is the or interaction between two polymers, which in, in Van der Waals is that is exactly what the free energy contribution of Van der Waals because of attraction term exactly. If you carry out the free energy calculation of uh, which was given in my book that it is half a rho square and rho is the density. So, yes C is the monomer density and so the interaction C square. Now, Flory did something amazing, the up, up to this is just, just Van der Waals. C square is rho square half k bit k bit is introduced by hand 
and nu is a parameter which is a Flory parameter and excluded many many Flory polynomials excluded following. Now, now what Flory did he said okay this nu t that I have can be both positive and negative if this is what I, I say is the wrong is called repulsion interaction. If nu t is negative then I get attraction and that is under walls, but if nu t is positive I get repulsion and that is just the beauty. So, now Flory introduced a famous parameter again called Flory parameter that is exactly that quantity 1 minus 2 chi and he derived an expression for chi data which exactly works out according to this. So, when chi is greater than half then this is negative and is attraction, but when chi is small then it is repulsion. So, monomer this interaction parameter chi simulates when the monomers attract each other and monomers repel each other and we know when monomers attract each other, monomers attract each other when a pore solvent. So, chi becomes large in a pore solvent, but chi becomes small in a good solvent then the molecule repel monomers repel each other and they swell this is the beauty of this uh, description. So, then one does little bit more this um, interaction of this is just what I wrote down this uh, free energy is uh, the, uh, we just say total volume because that is between monomer monomer in a volume BD total volume if I do interaction then I get um, these are interacting over the total volume and I will get the a, another uh, if total volume is proportional to the R, uh, R size R square and C square as n by R d. So, when I put these things I get n square as I said I get this quantity as the interaction energy both attraction and repulsion. So, I get mainly n square by R d term we are done in 2 minutes and then effect through the consideration of then however, I a, another interesting thing is that in the polymer I cannot just swell it because there is an elasticity that through the poly, through the chain. So, it is an elastic I cannot a too much and then the and that is a proportional to R square there is a potential energy which is like harmonic and that term the elastic term goes like R square because elasticity and one can show it because this essentially comes from e to the power r square by n l square. So, this elastic part it comes completely very easily from the Gaussian distribution. So, Gaussian chain has a preferential size and that is an entropic effect. So, this entropic effect give rise to an elasticity because it is a favorable size is there. You, if you go out from that you have to pay if you come close to that you have to pay. So, it is a harmonic potential that harmonic potential is the coming of the central limit theorem and that these two you then have to add. So, you have to add the interaction energy and the elastic energy and this is the total free energy as a size r. Now, you minimize that and you get go lo and behold one of the most beautiful result of polymer science if you minimize that you say df dr equal to 0 then you get r b plus 2 Flory size r a for r star equal to n cube and you get r is r is uh, n to the power 3 by d by 2. So, this exponent that introduce an exponent um, that r this flurry. So, because of interaction the excluded volume the uh, Gaussian polymer size r get modified to r f and d is 3 n to the power 3 by 5. So, this goes as n to the power half. So, because of interaction n to the power half swells to n to the power 3 by 5. If I go with my n equal to 10 to the power 8, 
then that is 10 to the power 4 and now if I do n to the power 3 by 5 into sorry I have to do then 10 to the power 8 3 by 5 then I see that it is uh, 10 to the power uh, 24 by 5 that means almost 10 to the power 5. So, I see a 10 fold increase a little less 8 actually huge increase in the size of the polymer because of the interaction between the polymers. So, this is one of the most beautiful results of polymer science that size of the because of the interactions which is the contribution of the interaction between the polymers mediated through the solvent and the elastic part and elastic part is from the Gaussian chain that I can model as Gaussian chain as per independence goes Gaussian chain remains ok, but the size now changes. So, effective interaction renormalize the size and gets to a beautiful new result and this is for Floris, uh, Floris A R equal to n by this is the result Flori is n to the power nu and nu is a Flori parameter nu f is 3 by d plus 2. So, Flori got everything correct this is amazing Flori got everything correct Flori exponent we got uh, that nu equal to this ideal chain ideal chain uh, nu half and that is underestimated this error then it goes over to nu equal to 3 by 5 for 3 dimension and this is the some thermodynamics of solution and Flori Young's theory will do in the next class ok. Uh, for the time we will stop and the next the more things more work of Flori and uh, and uh, beautiful work of Flori continues the saga of Flory's contribution continues to do Flory's thermodynamics of polymer solution, Flory Young's theory. Then we will do solid gel transition was also done by Flory. Right? So, these two will be the next class, okay. I hope you enjoyed this beautiful class.